Right, so we've uh, spoken to Danelle. We cannot close this broadcast without speaking to Armscore now. Armscore, of course, is the arms procurement agency of the South African Department of Defense. This uh, includes meeting the defense material requirements of the Department of Defense and uh, also to meet the defense technology research development analysis. Um, basically everything, the evaluation requirements of the department. Well, joining us now on the program to talk more about this is Kevin Wakeford. He, of course, is the chief executive officer of Arms Corps. It's so good to have you on the program, Kevin. Welcome to Morning Live. Thanks, Leanne, and hi to all your viewers. Yeah, gosh, I tell you, it's a, it's a big show this year. It really, really is. But let's talk about the role of Arms Corps here at this expo. Sure. Well, we the keep the lead partner for this year. We have a partnership of four institutions that are very much part of it on the civilian side with the Commercial Aviation Authority, ourselves, the Department of Defense, and of course, AMD, which is the, the business body for uh, the defense sector. Yeah. All right. So a huge role that you've got here. I mean, I can imagine and logistics and the preparation going into this event must be massive. Well, it was t two years of regular meetings, making sure things were being implemented, planning uh, a variety of different committees, which comprised of all four organizations. Yeah. When we, when we talk about a purpose of an event like this, what is it? Obviously, I know it's twofold. You've got the, the trade side, the business side that's happening during the week, and then uh, it's open to the public over the weekend. But the, the real purpose, what is it? Well, I think the real purpose is to showcase a sector that's often overlooked, a sector that leads research, that spills over into the civilian sector, that drives growth, particularly in Africa. Uh, we, w we are way ahead of most sectors, particularly in terms of trade with Africa. Uh, in our view, Africa in 10 years' time will be our single biggest market, not only for the defense sector, but for South Africa, our single biggest trading partner. So it's about fostering business relationships. It's about sensitizing everyone as to the importance of the defense sector, but also the importance of Africa as a key marketplace for South Africa. And of course, setting up manufacturing entities within Africa, sharing the work and ensuring that we all prosper together. So many people see us as a sector, as an instrument of war. We're actually instruments of peace because we're supporting huge peacekeeping operations in key key areas within Africa and we have seen massive growth in GDP in those countries as a consequence of peace and stability. So, so contrary to popular opinion, the prevailing wisdom at the moment is that we are instruments of peace. Obviously through a sector that's seen as a sector of war and death, we're actually a, a sector of peace and life uh, because we're breathing new life into the economy of Africa. I know, I know um, the, uh, the, the, the general in, in the, the South African defense was telling me, you know, the question was, why do we invest so much in this industry? His response to me, which he didn't get to say on air, he told me all fair, it's like, it's like insurance. It's, it's an insurance that you have in a company, uh, in a country, and in anything. You need it. It's one of those necessary things that you have to have, and, uh, and our role is huge. So, are, are, just finally, are sales made at this event? Oh, yes. Lots, lots. Lots of deals are cut, lots of investments. Uh, it's not only about trade, it's also about fostering investment relationships. So a small company like Twigger, for instance, yeah. is setting up knockdown type factories within Africa, in Namibia and Uganda, where APVs, armored personnel vehicles, arrive in a knockdown kit, are assembled there, and they have servicing capability as well. Excellent. Kevin Wakeford, thanks so much for talking to us here on the program. Good luck, enjoy it. I'm out of here. This is my car. I don't know if you've seen it before. Oh, I love it. It's nice, it's not bad, hey. Yeah, my, job pay, my job pays well. <laughs> it's only valued at 6.1 million. So, I mean, you know, what can I tell you? Kevin, thank you so much. All right, I'm going to get back into this car. I'm sick of pretending, I have to tell you. I, I'm now going to get in and, and that's it. I'm leaving. Thank you, Lemmy. I'm giving it to you again. <laughs> Patricia Fasaki is taking over. I'm out of here. Have a fabulous day. I'll see you tomorrow morning, everyone. Bye-bye. Let's cheers. Go, 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 go.